Hi folks, welcome to another video with this really cute baby. One of the things parents always wonder about is burping. Now, I had my own technique that I would put the baby on my chest and I would do the little bounce, bounce, pat, pat. Sometimes I would pat really hard. Sometimes I would pat really gentle if they could tack, take it. And sometimes they would burp and spit up across the room. Um, Dee Hoover, who many of you know, has a technique she'd like to share with you because it's been extremely effective. This is a little tiny baby who may or may not burp, but we're gonna see. He just burped, actually. I heard it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it works. Um, and I discovered this because I was taught the same thing. You put your baby up on, and when my son was a baby and I was doing that burp tech, doing it that way, he'd always spit up. He, when he, it never really burped. He would just spit up when I would do it, and I'd think, oh, that's what you're supposed to do. Well, I noticed one time I lifted him up after I was done nursing, and just holding him up and just extending him, he burped and I'm like, oh, maybe. So when I thought about it, if he's on my shoulder and his head's turned, the whole neck is turned, the esophagus is turned, the trachea is turned. And so that in itself, it's like, how are they supposed to burp if you do that? And, and I've heard parents say, yeah, I can't get him to burp that way. So I hold him up and I hold him close to me. So again, his neck is straight, his nose is even with sternum. And then I tap low. If he didn't do the burp the first time, I'll just tap low. And then we hold him up again ah, if he ha there it is <laughs> if he hasn't burped again you hold him up again it really folks i have to tell you it is it is so many people have said it's been life-changing for them <laughs> say if he <laughs> say if he doesn't burp then we go to the middle so a lot of babies have issues we call it colic sometimes where they're super gassy i feel like gas can be upper and then they end up with like an um, spitting up or in their stomach and they end th the tummy can get all tight too so I feel like by starting low we're working with gravity and allowing him sometimes I'll tap down here and we'll get gas release down from low but then in the middle then I would hold him up again if he hadn't burped and then I tap high so we're just kind of going with the way the body works and it allows them to generally burp really well one thing that I have to say is if you don't get a burp after all of that your mate your baby may have eaten not enough or so efficiently that they don't have the gas and they don't need to burp so I feel like I've heard parents say well you know I'm whacking them because they, they're supposed to burp otherwise I just don't think that that's always the case especially this young their bodies do what they need to do I would agree with that if they don't need to burp they don't need to burp or if they can't burp or somehow are not burping don't stress about it but this is a really cool technique try it